Hello, Mike Bradley. Hope you're doing well as always. So today we're going to do a loop in with me video. All right. Uh, this is not going to be edited whatsoever. Uh, so I'm going to keep any warts and all what is about to happen. But um, I've got my telly. I've got my little board here, which I'll cut in a picture now, as you can see. Uh, I've got a few little toys on here and I've got the Ditto Looper from TC Electronic, which I always use when I'm doing online Skype lessons and things like that. It's really cool and handy and it's small, which I like. So uh, I'm going to do a bit of looping so you can see kind of in real time what goes through my head when I'm um, mucking around with a looper. It's fun and it can be, you know, really rewarding for, for practicing. So you're not just there running up and down scales, you know. So anyway, no more waffling. Let's pick the key of E and let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> no edits, Mike. No edits. Thank you. 
have it. Uh, I think my white balance has gone off a little bit. Uh, so much so that I love that my, my pickup selector, selector? Selector went flying there. But um, yeah, that was a thing in E minor. <laughs> Good or bad, I don't know. Um, some of that might be a bit overplay and uh, I've not warmed up at all today, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. This is now my self-doubt coming in because I'm not going to be editing any of this. Anyway, um, if you want to know more about this, actually, just leave a comment in the comment section below. <laughs> of kind of, could otherwise this be a very, very long video. But the one thing I will say, actually, to give some kind of, kind of process in this, um, you know, is when it comes to looping, rhythm is everything. Um, rhythm regarding what you're playing, but more importantly, when you're putting a loop down, you've got to be on it with the timing each time, you know? So when I listen back, there's a beat there, you know? Um, so making sure your foot is going right on that beat each time you're putting a new layer down is very, very, very important. Um, I expect if you're watching this and you've had a loop pedal at some point in your life, and you, you play it like, well, that's just gone wrong, isn't it? You know, and it can happen. Uh, the first loop pedal I got was the Boss RC30. And, I, and to be honest, that's my favorite one. It's big, it's got big switches and you can do lots of different things with it. Um, but I've got the Ditto on my board at the moment and, um, you know, it's very convenient because it's nice and small. But, um, yeah, get your timing down and then just start having fun with it. So there, obviously, it was started off in E minor. And it was in the key of E minor, but then I was adding in a C kind of bass note and a D bass note in there. So, um, and then, you know, it's just going nuts in the key of E minor and see what happens. <laughs> so, um, yeah, get your loops out. Hopefully this just kind of encourages you to, uh, you know, get your loop out and just start playing. Because I could have gone for another, no, I kind of want to do another loop, you know. And, uh, you know, before you know it, an hour's gone by. And, you know, that hour you've had a guitar in your hand. You know what it's all about. Anywho, hope you're good and well. And, um, you know, to, if you're not already, do please subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that like button on the video. And uh, drop a comment. Say hello. Let me know who you are. And I'll see you very, very soon. Mike Bradley, very much. Oh, that feels wrong, saluting with my right hand, left hand. Mike Bradley signing out. Lots of love. Bye-bye.